Hello, family. Well, I'm back again, and I set up something really, really nice for you all. And I thought about you guys while I was uh, setting it up. So I would just like for you all to take a look at what I did for you. And we have two new mem members of the family. These are the Soul Pal dolls. Say hello. Well, family, I wanted to talk to you today about um, a couple of things. Before I forget one, I've been tagged by Dark Desert Moon. And I would like to say hello, Dark Desert Moon. So um, my kids had to tell me what that meant, you know, because I didn't know what, you know, tag mean. And my daughter said, well, Mama, she said, that's when you share five facts about yourself. Okay, so I'm going to share five facts. Uh, one of the facts is I am an Aquarius. Hello to all you Aquariuses out there. Hello. And uh, number two, I was born in February. Uh, so I'm going to kind of put that one with, the, with the, the, the Aquarius. I'll say that those are like the same facts because they're similar. Uh, another fact is I am a doll maker, so I create dolls, soul dolls, spirit dolls, voodoo dolls. The third fact is, and you may say, well, that's not a fact, I am a hippie all the way. I am a hippie. The fourth fact is I am a witch. And I say the fifth fact would be, hmm, what would be the fifth fact? Uh, I'm kind of stuck on that one. I guess the fifth fact would be that I, um, I will be living in my bus for a couple of weeks in the fall. <laughs> I really couldn't, I can't come up with facts too good, so to kind of give you an idea of a little bit about myself so I just wanted to do this right here for you guys and say thank you Dark Desert Moon for you know thinking about me and I appreciate you so much uh, and so I hope that helps some right there but um I had wanted to show you all the two new dolls that I've done and <clears throat> kind of give you a one little sneak peek as to what I do for the dolls um, I am going to have a little uh, mini ceremony for the dolls and uh, because they haven't gotten their souls yet they haven't gotten their souls yet so I'm gonna give you a smidget as to what I do I create a ceremony you know kind of beautiful like this right here for them you know not quite like this but I'm just giving you an idea I'm not it's not like I just really just go through you know exactly this this is just giving you all something to look at because i'm a little bit more low-key with it because like when i'm in my um my own at my own you know or in my own little private area i'm sorry can get could get my words out for some reason i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> so y'all forgive me but anyway um i'll sit in my bedroom and everything and i'll talk to them and they'll tell me exactly where they want to go to get their souls. And so what I do, I take them to that little place. And that's, that's how, one of the ways they um, get their souls, okay? Their spirits. Because, like I said, with my dolls, I always make sure that they have the spirit of what their purposes are. These are like little friendship dolls. They're like little, you know, like I said, I call them spirit pals or soul pals. They're like, you know, companions. You know, if you really believe in the spirit doll or the soul doll, if you got one of these dolls and you're lonely, you'll never be lonely. Because they have the ability of keeping you company and letting you know that you're not alone. But anyway, what I would do, 
I will get my drum, which is, this is just only one of my drums. And I'm not, I don't play too well now when I'm under stress. And I'm under stress right now. Oh, guess what, guys? I had a spirit bath. I had a spirit bath about a couple of days ago. And it was really, really nice. I just want to say, hello, Bren. Thank you so much for the spirit bath. It was so comforting. And I really, really, really needed it. So she was really, really, uh, really, really comforting for the bath when, when she gave me the bath and everything. And um, I learned a whole lot. What she did, she um, she had a like a ceramic bowl, and in that ceramic bowl, she it, it was something in there that had a very beautiful mint smell to it, like peppermint like, and like. What she did is, first of all, she talked to me, and I told her exactly what I needed. And once she got through, you know, talking to me, and uh, me talking to her, she um, put the music on, some very soothing music. Uh, and from there, she told me to close my eyes. And uh, she did the spiritual bath that was very soothing. And afterwards, I mean, oh my God, it was like the whole weight of the world was off of me. And it, it lasted really, really well. And then after that, I had a relaxing tea. She gave me a relaxing tea. And um, like I said, I mean, uh, it, it, it got my blood pressure down. And I really, really felt good afterwards. And uh, it's a technique that she used that like when I, I'm kind of like getting stressed a little bit. You know, which I've been a little slightly stressed today and kind of a little bit, you know, I get like that. And the only reason why is because I've gotten addicted to tea and the caffeine, you know, it, it keeps you on edge a little bit. So I have this little caffeine thing going on and I'm sure I'm going to get past this thing. You know, it shouldn't last too long. But anyway, <laughs> um, so, you know, this morning when I got up, she said, all you have to do is just think about the bath and then that. And I did, and all of a sudden that minty smell came back, and it was like I was having that bath all over again. So I don't know what she does, but it's like it lasts because all I have to do is just have a thought of that bath, and all of a sudden it, you know, the feeling of the uh, relaxation returns and stuff. But anyway, what I do, just I'm just gonna give you a smidget, but it's far more detail. I'm just allowing you in on just a smidget and like I said for my subscribers and my friends I will always you know um, allow you smidges because I, I'm sure a, a lot of you